Next guest, John Hargraves. Make him welcome, please. Here, right. <laughs> I've never had the pleasure of talking before, and before we go into all the details about this film, I want to publicly say you are brilliant in this movie. Absolutely brilliant. It's just, uh, it's wonderful to see, mate. Thank you. Yeah, really terrific. Tell me, tell us a little about the storyline of this, this young boy. Uh... Well, it's, uh, it's basically a custody battle um, for a six-year-old child between two aunts. Uh, one, Lila, and, and the husband, George. That's have, Robin Nevin. Yeah, yeah. Have brought him up since the death of his mother, he, who died... <coughs> Uh, just after giving birth to him. And um, for six years, he's been brought up by Lila and George, who are a homely, working-class couple. And they have a very rich sister, Vanessa, played by Wendy Hughes, who comes back from England, who's always been obsessed with the father that mm. I play, Logan. And uh, she wants the child as a substitute for the father. Right. And there ensues a very bitter battle. But, of course, the boy has never seen you as a father. No. No, we'll show a scene in a minute about that. That's terrific. Tell me about the boy. He is astounding in this film. He's been nominated for a, a Best, Best Actor, Actor Award. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> a little heavy, but we won't even go into that. <laughs> where, where does he come from? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Nicholas Gledhill. Yeah. He's uh, an actor's son, Arthur Dignam. Oh, very yes. fine actor. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's never acted before, and... He's just wonderful. Oh, yes, yeah. just terrific. Yeah. This is a, an amazing cast of people. You all seem to gel so well. I mean, did it, was, it as, uh, was it as comfortable working on this film as it was the way it comes across? Yes, very comfortable. It was wonderful working with the director. And we all sort of know each other. Most of the people in the film have worked together before. Yeah. And uh, in fact, most of the cast, um, we did Present Laughter in Sydney at the Royal a few months ago. Ah. And most of us have worked together before. Wendy, I've known for 15 years, you know, the old bag. And, uh, <laughs> Boy, you can't call her an old bag. Now, in this film, she comes up better looking than I have ever seen her in films. She's a st I used an analogy yeah. before. I said a modern-day Ava Gardner, because that's what she reminds me of. But yes. the classy clothes and the way she looks is unreal. Yeah. Uh, who designed the clothes? Was there a couturier or something? No, a, a very talented man called Bruce Finlayson, mm. who um, got together the wardrobe and designed the, the whole look. Yeah. But it is stunning. It's the most glamorous film I think we've ever made. When you're working on a film as dramatic as this with all these little insights, you know, uh, everybody fighting against, tearing against everyone else, does it ever carry over personally? No, not when you've known each other for so long. Right. No. Yeah. no. Well, let me show you a very touching scene. Uh, this is the scene where you and the boy meet for the first time. Your yeah. son, and you've come back. I've never seen him. You've never seen him. Mm. This is, uh, I'll show you just what I mean about performance now. Have a look at this. See you. She wants to take you away. Where? England. Could I come home to Lila on Friday? No, it's, um, it's a long, long way away, P.S. It'd be until you've grown up. Would you want to? Well, don't you worry about it. I'll fix her. It's one thing I can do. Not much in seven years, but it's something. So don't worry about it, okay? Is it all right now to tell everyone I've got a father? Yeah, it's all right, it is. Why don't you live here? Did you love dear one? Oh, yes. Very much so. <laughs> That's a little one of those. Woo! And I was just noticing, Robin, my researcher said today something that I hadn't even really noticed either because I was looking at clips. The music is wonderful in this. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. You don't know who's, do you know who's responsible for that? Yeah, I don't a man Ray Cook, originally an Australian who's been living in London since the 60s. Uh -huh. And he came back especially to, to write the music for this. Right. But um, I think so often in, in films that I've been in, um, one of the things that's often let a film down is the music. 
Mm. And uh, I think in Australian films it's been a problem, but it's not a problem in oh, this one. It's this is, you are going to win, when they win awards for this, boy, I tell you, it's going to take off like a rocket. It is some picture. Uh, well, I just want to look at, I just want you to have a look at a scene before we go. <laughs> I want to give you as much of this as I can because I really think a lot of it. Tell me about the locations for this, the house, the big house that she's in. Uh, the big house place. that was Vanessa's, um, exists in Darling Point in Sydney, yeah. which is a pretty ritzy suburb. Uh, Turak, okay. And, uh, it's, um, the street scene, it was built by a, a nouveau riche millionaire in, a, in, the ni in about 1908. Uh -huh. And it's a huge, gloomy pile, really. Yeah. But uh, they touted it up, you know, and it looks terrific <laughs> in the film. <laughs> well, you should be thrilled about this, John. I just want everybody to have a look at one more scene before we go. Just take a look at this. This is uh, at the railway station. Uh, yeah. doesn't send people flocking to the theaters, I don't know which will. John Hargrave, it's a pleasure to meet you for the first time, mate. You're a delight. And Good I hope the text. film is everything is. And give my regards to Wendy. Tell us you should come on this show sometime. I am a big fan of hers and I want to meet her. I will. In fact, she said before I came, because yeah. we're staying at the Windsor, and she said, tell Don he's a doll. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> the, feel the feeling is mutual. We could be starting something here. John Hargrave, everybody. We'll be back. Don't go away. Thank you.